Hello everybody, it's Fishboy Tim from the Fishboy Tim coming today. Welcome back to me, another Redstone Bay where I'm going to be showing off two different combination logs. So first off we have the numpad one and then we have a lever combination log. And so I'll be showing you to a tutorial on how to build both of those and the event and which one you should choose or whatever one you want. Although 99% of the time you will just get a this broken door but still they're cool they look good and yeah so anyway so first I'm gonna show off the um, numpad combination lock so this one is simple it's a three digit combination out of um, one two out of the numbers one two three four five six seven eight nine zero so the code on this is nine zero one so I'm just gonna press that and as you can see, it opens the door and then shuts behind and I can get to my storage room. And then when I press this button, I just open up the door and I can get back out. So, so that's, this is the first one. Now, onto the lever one. So this one, all you have to do is, um, you can pick how many levers you want on, how many off. It can be a total of 15 blocks long, so you can have 15 different levers. I just chose to do six and you can just choose your combination whatever you want so the combination on this one is this lever this lever and then this lever as you can see that one opens the door and yeah except for the only problem about this one is that it does leave the door open so this would be good if you have then like a big piston door right there while the other one is just better now now on to some behind the like how they work all right guys so here is the redstone for the um for the numpad lock i know it may look a bit complex but basically all it is is just one repeater unlocking another repeater so if you didn't actually know there is a function on repeaters where whoops if you run a redstone signal into the side they will lock up and so signals will cannot pass through it when you activate it which is how the entire locking part works so when I press 9 the signal will go through here to um, the zero repeater unlocking it which means that I can then get this signal from the button of zero to go through which then comes and unlocks the one the one repeater which means that the signal can go through to open the door now this is and this is a secure method, so even if they knew the free numbers, if they tried pressing them backwards, it wouldn't work. Or just, like, if you press, if you just spam buttons, it doesn't work. It is a perfectly secure lock, so there, it's, it's a, it secures the other one, but that one has one downside. But still, this is a very secure lock, as long as you can ensure that no one breaks open the door. So, yeah, now onto the uh, other lock alright guys so here is the redstone for the lever combination lock and as you can tell this the it is so much simpler which is the advantage over that lock the disadvantage is that when I click on the combination it will not the door will not close up behind you which means that it's just gonna stay open so it is better for something like this where it's just a room behind the door or if you have a gigantic um, piston door but it is so much simpler and basically how it works is so the levers that you want to have on you would just put a redstone torch there which will be used for the AND gate which is basically just all of these all of the redstone torches need to be off for this redstone torch to be on thus um, opening the door so that, so with the combination like the um the levers that you want to be part of the combination you would put a redstone torch on that side and the ones that you don't want is a repeater and let me tell you why that is it's because if you just had redstone torches like this well you would still like you could just you could simply just if you didn't know what the combination was just flick all the levers and it would open but that but when you have the repeaters it then powers it which as you can tell 
makes it not makes the door not open so this one is a simpler one but it does not close up behind you but it is they are both the same security level so now I'm going to show you first the tutorial for the button combination lock and then I will show you the tutorial for the lever combination lock my game mode to survival mode and now let me show you all of this uh, stuff that you're going to need to so you're going to need about a half stack of redstone um, about 10 repeaters and by the way this all depends on just what your combination is and then you will need two comparators um, two emerald blocks two note blocks and these are the em the emerald blocks and note blocks are only necessary if you want the a little ding like a little dinner so you do not have to have those but it is it is like useful and cool in my opinion then you will need 10 buttons a half stack of blocks an iron door and redstone torches but I am just going to put the um the buttons and door back into the chest because I already have them on here so going on to the back I have my combination set to I have it I have it set to one one seven and then uh, six I believe that is and let me just tell you something first you cannot have your combination um in a row down like this because of just the way that minecraft redstone works you can try it but it is a lot more complicated so just try and keep away from going combinations down that way now I'm just going to I'm going to first want first I would I want to wire up the the this button so I'm just going to pillar up here and I'm gonna put a repeater here and so I'm just gonna go wire up and show you how how you would want the wiring to go alright guys so here's the first bit of wiring you want to do so for and by the way like I should say this is all dependent on the combination but I'm just gonna show you how sort of how to do this so what you first want to do is take a repeater signal from the button then you want to invert the signal using a redstone torch bring it down and then here's the second button uh, seven so you want to take that and then put every repeater so this is coming off of the inverted signal a repeater lock on the side pointing towards the side of a different repeater there thereby locking it so that's what you want to first do and then you basically just want to do that again but with this but with um, this one so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that all right and so there we there we go as you can see here we have just simply taken a so you, what you want to do is after that lock repeater and you need to once again invert the signal and this is the button now for this you do not need to invert the signal you just simply need to take it up through here build something like along the lines of this and this is actually where you take your output from and since the door is right at that block I just like to put a um I like to put a pulse extender into it because because that way um you will simp that way it keeps the door open for longer all right and so I just actually I just need to I realized that part of the redstone was wrong so you don't you don't want to have a piece of redstone here because it breaks it will break uh, this pulse extender and thereby that so I've just gone and fixed that up by just simply adding a, another repeater and so that is the main part of the door but you need to um then if you punched in the combination now and just left it uh, this repeater would stay powered which would then unpower this meaning that you could simply just press the button you could simply just press this button here on the other side of that block and it would unpower this and or it would simply power this and you could just open the door so after this now what we need to do is we need to come up here and you would and you want to build across like this and you want to do a redstone line you want to run a redstone line from this repeater on top of these blocks with the with the redstone torches so that you can then unpower this 
really quickly, which will then um, not unlock that and have the signal go out. And it is a li it's a little hard to explain, but it is necessary for this to work. So I'm just going to put that there, and then this needs to come up. So if I simply bring the redstone line up here, and there. There we have it. The lock is all done, and but there is still one thing missing, which is, of course, our little note block thing so I'm just gonna simply go put this repeater here and I'm just gonna simply tune the note block all right and so there we have it I tuned the note blocks real quick there and so now if we go on the other side of the door it should just as you can see it just opened there and I just realized I just locked myself inside luckily I have a so that's how you build the um combination lock now it does depend on the combination but that's sort of simply how you do it is you just need to do some repairing this one is more complicated and it is i would su only suggest building it if you do have some redstone knowledge about locks and stuff and just locking repeaters so this one is not the easiest to build but it is a very cool and just nice combination lock now Onto the other lock. Alright guys, and here is how we are going to build the second one. So, you just need however many levers you want, and of course the door. And then, the, the, the other stuff you're going to need is a half stack of blocks, 10 repeaters, 10 redstone torches, and 32 redstone. This, once again, is all dependent on how big your actual like lock is. But, I just suggest that you have that much so i'm just gonna run the box along here and then so you have you want to put the so this is where your output is and then so the output is obviously the door there which this is now open because i have not set up the rest of the powering yet so then you just run this along one block away from the other side of the wall so that you can put your redstone torches on and your repeaters and so on that on this row of blocks you just put the redstone so now i'm just going to choose that my combination b uh, that that and that that so yeah just the middle four so i'm just gonna go one two three four and then of course for the other two you do not want to place a redstone torch you want to place two repeaters here and yeah there you have it there you have it this is such a simple lock so easy to make and it's, it's a lot easier less cool in my opinion but a lot easier anyways i just want to say thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did enjoy it remember to leave a like and if you really enjoyed it make sure to subscribe for more videos and i'll see you in the next one goodbye